Techolatza is, according to Shulchuyam, the name of the first man of the Chilchoyok tribe. Shulchuyam are the stories about, you know, a long time ago when the elders explained the world wasn't quite right, when animals and people could um, talk to each other, animals and people could transform from one to the other. Through the Shulchuyam part, I think, you know, we're, we're all connected. The name Techolatza belongs to our family and all of the descendants of the original Techolatza. And there are many, many, many of us. But at this particular point in time, there are only two of us that actually carry the name Techolatza. It's a celebration of the return of Stone Techolatza to his community after 114 years of being absent from this place. The main story with regard to Techolatza is the story of how he was turned into stone. Uh, Chals was given the responsibility to walk through our lands and make things right. And in walking through our lands, he was confronted by, a number of times by people and different situations that were going against the laws of the land and uh, the uh, rules of, from, that we got from our Creator. So Chals was, of course, given the task of making those things right. One day, he happened to be walking down the Chilliwack River and uh, came upon a man and a woman on the riverbank, and they were arguing. And Howells intervened and told this couple that there were better ways of resolving conflict other than through arguments or, conf or fighting. And it happened that the man was a bit of a medicine man himself. He had some powers. And, of course, it was at a time when that wasn't... Uh, unnatural. Men and women of that time had powers that were given to them. Well, this particular man, whose name happened to be Techolatza, had some powers. So they decided to resolve the conflict between Chals and Techolatza by way of a, a transformation contest. And the contest went that one of them tried to turn the other into salmon. The other tried to turn the other into a root, a twig. And then the other tried to turn him, the other one back into mink. And so it went, went back and forth. And finally, Chals turned Techolatza into stone. He then turned to Techolatza's wife, who was still there at the riverbank, and instructed her to the point that she was then made responsible for taking care of her husband. And she would do that by taking the stone Techolatza back to the village placing Techolatza in, in, a, in, a, in a place in front of her home or in her home where all of her family and all who came to visit her would see him. And then in seeing him would be reminded that we all need to live together in a good way. So then they made an arranged marriage. So one of the women from here went down to Sumas to marry, marry someone down there. And she was also the person that was given the responsibility to look after that stone. So she took that stone and carried it with her down there. And then of course, the rest of the Squalco goes to say that, you know, after the lynching of Louis Sam happened, uh, uh, the attempted lynch lynching of uh, Jimmy Poole from Kilgard, and then the people there living on a reserve close to the boundary between the US and the USA and Canada, were a bit concerned that those Nooksack settlers might come up and, and lynch some more of them. So they moved away and that left that left Tikhulatsa in, or Tikhulatsa in the in the field there. Shortly after the families left that village, two farmers, two white farmers, two brothers, the Ward brothers, were probably out hunting, taking care of their families, and they came upon our ancestor. And because there happened to be nobody around at the time, 
because they, were, they left for, for fear of getting hung. In their culture, if there's no one watching it, then they assume that he's been abandoned. In our culture, he was still in our territory. He was still in our care. He was still in our possession. But not to the people who came from Europe. So they took him and they sold him to a dime store museum. Catch part two, the journey home begins starting September 17th.